The cookware and dishes that may have been in your grandmother's or mother's kitchen cabinets are now set to be part of a year-long exhibit at the Corning Museum of Glass. Known widely for its design element with many colors and patterns, Pyrex didn't start out that way. Originally, the glass was transparent, used for railroad lanterns. The glass was durable and heat resistant. In fact, Corning Glassworks was originally an industrial glass company, supplying materials to other companies. You know, cookware was completely foreign to them, but they wanted a way to, to use this great glass that they had. It was the wife of a Corning Glassworks physicist, Bessie Littleton, who baked the very first sponge cake in a sawed-off bottom of a battery jar. And took it to her co-workers, um, his co-workers the next day. They loved it. They said it was great. Everything was beautiful. It baked evenly. It came out clean. Uh, so they thought, well, maybe this is our new line of products that we can market. And the rest, as they say, is history. They appealed to um, the modern cook in a lot of their ads. And it's funny because you can see the modern cook in the 1920s is very different than the modern cook in the 1970s, but they're still often using that same tag, you know, uh, be a better cook, be a modern cook um, with Pyrex. And so um, the dishes were utilitarian, but also meant to be beautiful. Pyrex is part of Americana and pop culture. There are dealers and enthusiasts and collectors all over the country. And I stopped into Twin Tiers Antiques Plaza on Market Street in Corning to chat with someone who is all of those things combined. Meet Marsha Melnick. She's been collecting iconic Pyrex for most of her adult life. Watching my grandmother and my mother use multiple kitchenware items that were Pyrex made that become a nostalgia for me. Her father-in-law also worked for Corning Glass for over 35 years and brought home unique and rare pieces. The Melnick kitchen was full of Pyrex, so full that she has hundreds of pieces at home and has begun downsizing by selling at the antique shop as well as eBay. And she's found that her home housewares are quite sought after treasures. So I started looking for space savers and I found one that was turquoise and I know turquoise and pink are the most popular collectors colors right now and I picked it up it was a four quart it had a glass lid and the compass pattern on it and I put it up on eBay not really realizing I guess the rarity of it and that escalated and sold uh, to a lady from Niagara Falls for twelve hundred dollars. She's even gotten a mention in an upcoming book about rare and hard to find Pyrex for a psychedelic 60s pattern. Author Michael Barber has a second edition coming out in 2016 that will show Melnick and this unique dish. And she's happy to share her collection. Uh, but I'm glad that the pieces are going out to people who are actually keeping them in their collection um, because at this point I am downsizing some of mine. So. You know, and it's fun to find it and then watch the excitement of other people as they pick up a piece that they want to add. More people are you know, engaged with something that they have in their own homes as opposed to something that maybe they would never be able to have, you know, that sits in a museum and is maybe out of reach for a lot of us. The Pyrex exhibition opens June 6th at the Corning Museum of Glass and will be on view through March of 2016. I've included more information about how to get tickets and even explore the history and patterns of Pyrex on our website at WENY.com. Reporting in the studio, Natalie Abruzzo, WENY News.